Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. You're telling me you use algorithms every single day and you didn't even know it? That's like saying you've had superpowers and never even realized it. All right, so let's get into some exciting stuff. Since we love challenges here at Steam Inspirations, we're introducing the Algorithm Showdown. Yeah, you heard me. We'll be running contests where you can submit your own algorithms to solve wacky everyday problems. Maybe figuring out the fastest way to separate Skittles by color or solving the eternal question, toilet paper over or under? Send us your solutions and we'll put them to the test. Ever wondered how video games decide when to spawn enemies or how your loot is randomly generated? You guessed it, algorithms. When you're sprinting through a maze, avoiding monsters, you're actually running through a complex set of algorithms that determine the game's behavior. In some games like Minecraft, the entire world you explore is generated by algorithms. No two experiences are the same. Ever thought about why certain products appear in your online shopping recommendations? Well, it's not magic, it's algorithms. When you click or search for a product, algorithms analyze your behavior and present you with items you're more likely to buy. It's like having a personal shopper who knows you better than you know yourself. Now here's the mega juicy part. Algorithms aren't just used for cooking and counting. They solve real world problems, whether it's figuring out the most efficient route for garbage collection in a city or predicting natural disasters. Algorithms are unsung heroes making our lives better. Remember those multiple choices tests you dreaded? Did you know there's an algorithm for guessing the most probable right answer? Yeah, some algorithms can even help you pass the test by analyzing the pattern of the previous question. But hey, don't tell your teachers we told you that. You know how your TikTok or Instagram feed always seems to know exactly what you want to watch? That's algorithms for you. They analyze your likes, shares, and even the amount of time you spent watching a video to curate a feed that you can't resist. It's like they read your mind. So algorithms are really cool and all, but what actually are they? Well, an algorithm is just a series of step-by-step -step instructions to do something. And luckily for us, Carl is here to demonstrate a simple algorithm. Carl has been craving for some good old spaghetti, but he doesn't want to go all the way to a restaurant to eat some. That's when he has an idea. He already has ingredients in his kitchen, so why doesn't he make some himself? So Carl makes his way to the kitchen and gathers the ingredients. Four ounces of spaghetti, three cups of water, a pot to boil the water in, one teaspoon of salt, and his favorite sauce. Now that Carl has what he needs, he can start cooking. He first boils the water. Once it's boiling, he adds the spaghetti to the pot and cooks it for 10 minutes while occasionally stirring it. Once the 10 minutes are up, he drains the water and pours the spaghetti into a bowl. He finally adds his favorite sauce on top of it, and voila, he now has a delicious serving of spaghetti. When Carl started to cook, he used an algorithm. In this case, the algorithm was the step-by-step -step instructions of the recipe he followed. As a result, he made a freshly cooked bold spaghetti. But if Carl didn't properly follow the algorithm, he would have either overcooked or undercooked his spaghetti, which he wouldn't want. Now the same would be the case for counting something. Let's say you want to count the number of people in a room. You would start by zero, and for each person in the room, you would count up from zero until there's no one else left. This step-by-step -step process for counting the total number of people in a room is an algorithm. So after this whirlwind tour of algorithms, I bet you're itching to get your hands dirty with some actual coding. So let's write a simple algorithm that can square a number. And since we're all friends here, let's use Python, a beginner-friendly programming language. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. So let's break down this algorithm. We first declare a variable x and give it a value of 20. Think of variables like a box where you can store things, in this case the number being 20. Next, we're going to square the number. Squaring a number means multiplying it by itself. We take the value stored in x, which is 20, and multiply it by 20. We then store this result in a new variable called square number. 
Lastly, we use the print function to display our results. This is like Yon from a mountaintop. Hey world, the square of 20 is 400. So when you run this code, you'll see the output. The square of 20 is 400. And voila, just like that, you've executed a simple algorithm in Python. You're officially a coder now. How does it feel? Honestly, this is just scratching the surface. Algorithms are limitless in their applications and complexities. Today, we squared a number. Tomorrow, you might be writing the next groundbreaking algorithm that transforms an entire industry, or maybe just makes the best spaghetti ever. So if you want to explore more advanced algorithms or maybe even build your own, drop a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. The journey into the land of algorithms is endless, and we can't wait to take it with you.